Hi, in this video I'm going to explain the difference between a momentary switch and a latching switch. On my left I have a multimeter. It is currently set to the resistance measurement. The leads of the multimeter are connected to the switch. Notice that when I depress the switch and close it, the resistance reduces drastically. It is now less than 2 ohms. If I set the meter to continuity, continuity tells me it's a short circuit. For example, if I measure the continuity on this metal shaft, you can see that it is a short circuit and also notice that the resistance is very low. So this switch over here has a rocker. Notice that when I depress it, my meter is making that sound telling me it's a short circuit. Notice that I'm not touching the switch but it is still in the closed position. If I want to open the circuit and put the switch into the open position, I have to manually go and rock the switch into the other direction. Notice now that it stays an open circuit. This is called a latching switch. Over here I've got another switch and I'm now going to connect my meter to that terminal and this terminal over here. Notice the switch has a 1 and a 0 on. When I rock the top of the switch, notice that the meter stops buzzing. When I depress it again, it starts buzzing. Notice that the state of the switch stays like that until I manually change it. Now I've opened the circuit and it stays an open circuit. Now when I make it a closed circuit, it stays a closed circuit. So this is called a latching switch as well. Over here I have a push button switch and it's called a normally open switch. Right, when I depress the push button switch, notice that the sound only comes on while my finger is depressing the button. When I release the button, the circuit opens. Closed, open. Closed, open. This is called a momentary switch. It engages only when the user initiates the action and disengages when the user stops that action. Now this one is called a normally open momentary switch because only when I close the switch does the circuit close. Meaning I'm pushing it to make the circuit or make the contacts close. So when the switch is at rest, it's an open circuit. Over here I have another push button switch and you can hear from the meter's buzzer that it is already a short circuit. Notice that when I depress the top, it opens the circuit, but when I release it, it closes it. This is called a push to break and it is also a momentary switch. The difference is it is normally closed at rest. You see, I'm not touching the switch, but it is still a short circuit. Only when I depress the button does it open the circuit. As I release my finger, it closes the circuit. As I depress it, it opens it. So both these two switches I've shown are momentary switches. It's just that the one was a normally open and the other one was a normally closed. Right, now I have another switch and you can see the meter is showing an open circuit. There's no buzzer. When I depress the switch, notice that it's a short circuit. But notice that it is now staying in that state of being a short circuit. Only if I press it again does it become an open circuit. Closed, open. So this is a latching switch. So it operates the same as the first switch I showed, it's just in a different housing. Latching switches often have a distinct sound. Listen to the latching. While the momentary switches generally do not make such a distinct click, Often they are much softer.